Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be doing a deep dive into CSRF protection in your Rails applications. Now, if you've ever run into the invalid authenticity token error, that is something that we're gonna be talking about and explaining why that happened in this episode. It's something that I see all the time, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around, and we're gonna do a deep dive so you can understand how all of it works behind the scenes. Now, let's take a look at our form here and see what the CSRF token looks like. CSRF stands for Cross-Site Request Forgeries, where, for example, you might be on one website and it has some malicious JavaScript that tries to delete your GitHub account. That would be super bad, and it could do that by writing some JavaScript to make an Ajax request to github.com. It could make a delete request to, you know, your slash user route or whatever, and uh, attempt to delete that. Now, the protection for that is to include a token in your session. So it assumes that the browser is going to have a session, GitHub's gonna have your um, login in the session cookies, and there will be a way for it to tell that uh, that request was not coming from github.com, it came from some malicious source. So that is um, kind of what the CSRF token protects you from, and it works by setting it in your session and uh, comparing the submitted value with the one in your session that only the Rails server can actually um, read and tell. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this episode.